Agave attenuata, the foxtail agave, is a common garden plant in coastal Southern California. It is a soft leaf agave that has no spines. This plant is a succulent evergreen perennial that is tolerant of a wide range of conditions. It can be planted in fertile loam or poorer soils of any type. It has thick roots that can penetrate heavy clay. Well-draining soil is best, but it tolerates poor drainage. It thrives in moist soil, but is very tolerant of drought, making it a good choice for low water xeric gardens. It stores water in its thick fleshy leaves. The foxtail agave can take full sun in cooler coastal areas. It may yellow or even burn if planted in full sun in the hotter inland landscapes where temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius are common. It does best in partial shade and is fine in full sun. I meant uh, full shade, it's fine in full shade. This agave is a winter grower and can be fertilized then but it grows well without any fertilizer. Agave attenuata rarely experiences pests or diseases. Snails may mar its leaves. It is not a primary target of the agave snout weevil. The leaves can be damaged by hail this agave is not hardy. The foliage can be damaged at 30 degrees Fahrenheit, minus one Celsius, and the stem will die at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, minus six Celsius, or even warmer. Agave attenuata is native to Mexico, where it grows from six to 8,000 feet. That's 1,800 to 2,400 meters. It is rare in habitat. This is a very low maintenance plant. Simply remove any old dead leaves that are unsightly and cut off flowering stems after they wither. To control the size of the plant, prune off excess rosettes. This agave is attractive planted singly or in companion plantings. It is also used for mass plantings and it does well in pots. The foxtail agave can grow to five feet that's one and a half meters tall by eight feet, two and a half meters wide. Individual rosettes can be up to five feet, one and a half meters wide. This plant forms large clumps over time or can be pruned to a single stem. It is one of the few agaves that have a tall stem. The stem is curving and it grows up to four feet tall, one, of one and one third meters. The stem can grow air roots along its woody surface. It is sometimes prostrate and may root if in contact with the ground.
Individual rosettes flower when they are about 10 years old. Rosettes are monocarpic, which means that they die after blooming. Agave attenuata flowers in January in Southern California. The flower stems can be up to 10 feet, three meters long. They grow vertically at first and then gracefully bend downwards, taking on a form similar to the tail of a fox. As the flowers wither, seeds and bulbils, which are small plantlets, form along the flower stem. The bulbils grow and eventually fall off and may take root in the ground thus propagating the original plant. The three common ways to propagate this agave are by stem cuttings, offsets, and by collecting bulbils. Various lovely hybrids of this agave have been developed, including a number of variegated varieties. A personal favorite of mine is called Blue Flame, shown here. This photo shows the cut, cut stump of the original rosette that had flowered on the bottom right. Notice how it has subsequently grown a large clump of rosettes. A very popular hybrid created by Kelly Griffin is Agave Blue Glow, shown here. It is a cross of Agave Attenuata with Agave Shaii. Here are shown mature plants. The original rosettes have flowered and died and the withered stems were removed. 